Bridge, where victory lives with Nicole Elizabeth Squires, only on LA Talk Radio. Well, welcome this evening to the Recovery Switch. We thank you for joining us today. Um, we've been getting a lot of supporters and people who are liking us on Facebook and sharing us, and I thank you for that support because we're just here to make a difference and give some information that will be life-changing. Today we have um, Chris Stevens, uh, a young lady who I truly admire for her knowledge and her experience. She's been in the, the entertainment business doing uh, quite a few things, you know, she's written on a lot of people's albums, but one of her passions is um, fitness and health, and, 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 and she has a lot of knowledge. She's educated me because I'm in a different generation where I, you know, I go with the older school and the way of thinking, and we, we, weren't, we weren't really thought health. We were not given proper information, so she's really educated me on juicing and and health and chemicals, and um, she's done some training with me, and um, I still have a long way to go, so don't judge me. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> she, down significantly. You, well, thank yeah, you, thank you, are. you. You look great. Thank it's you. Working. Yeah. It's, it's working. It's working. Yes, um, it does work. But don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Please but, don't judge her, please. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, please. so she's really educated us. And today we want to talk, um, start off with health and, and educating yourself in a proper way. Because um, today we have so much children, diabetes, uh, adult diabetes. We have blood pressure, cholesterol, obesity to a massive state and that's because of a lot of chemicals and hormones i know in my situation i had to you know i'm an asthmatic so i was given prednisone for many years and what i've noticed over the recently is everything every time i go into the doctor's office now before prednisone was given only when you're in a severe state but now you have a little cold. Here's prednisone. Here's prednisone. Mm -hmm. And prednisone mm -hmm. is a steroid that deteriorates the marrow in your bone and makes you extremely large. You know? So we want to talk about health and fitness. So welcome. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Hello, oh. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about health. Um, I want you to give us a little idea of, of uh, uh, what's, what's, what's going on with the FDA, what's going on with our, our food, our health, and you know the whole nine yards of what's going on. I know we were just talking before the show started about fluoride, and she educated me about that in that few seconds. <laughs> I didn't even know because back in the day when my, my kids were young and I'd go give them vitamin drop, the vitamin drops, they would tell me, no, give them one with fluoride. Yeah, and it's a big myth. And it, it's really disgusting, honestly, that the FDA, this um, USDA, the CDC, they're even allowing these types of chemicals in our water supply, in our foods. Yeah. And it's just ridiculous. Other countries ban it, you know, like... There are, what, 196 countries on the planet, right? And only 11 allow fluoridated water. Oh, wow. And wow, we're that's... one of them. Oh, wow. Mm. So that's, what, 17% of the countries in the, on the um, planet that right. allow fluoridated water. Wow. And that is literally disturbing, like, that we're one of them. And, that is. And, and I was giving it to my kids. I just told my daughter <laughs> and she me, needs to give it to her grand yeah, uh, my, yeah. my grandchild. Right. And, and let me just break down exactly what fluoride is because you might be like, well, it's good for your teeth or it yeah. prevents cavities and that's what they want you to think. But right. fluoride is actually used as, um, what do they call An insect, that, like they use it for insects to repel insects and is used wow. as rat poison. So they're wow. putting that in our toothpaste. They're putting that in our, you know, our dental work. And it's ridiculous that the, sometimes even in certain processed foods, so it's just disturbing, like I said, that. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty shocking. <laughs> that's pretty so eye-opening. Like, so, eye yeah, so, so like I, all my toothpaste, my, um, my mouthwash, all that has no fluoride in it, none. Like, well, now and I you know. can purchase that. Where? They sell it. They sell it at even Rouse now, which, oh. is, which, I'm, which I'm impressed, you know, because I would think that, you know, it would only be like Whole Foods, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, but 
Right. Ralph's actually has it now. It's called Tom's um, Jason. That's a good um, line. They I've heard of Tom's. Mm -hmm. And they I didn't know what Tom's was. Some. And what <laughs> the only thing about them that I'm confused is that they do have some that sell with fluoride. But then they have the ones that say not with without fluoride, fluoride free. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, do your own research. This is what I tell all my clients, all my friends, all my family members to do your own research. It's important. Like you have to take interest and be an advocate for your own body. Like if you're not, who else will be? Will the be, doctors yeah. won't. Right. They don't care. Like you said, they'll prescribe you stuff. It'll totally ruin your system. Mm -hmm. And then wow. they'll they'll give you another um, prescription to fix that problem that to fix the other problem that and then before you know it, you're on 10 prescriptions and wow. your your health is yeah. declining and you don't yeah. understand why I just went through that mm -hmm. when I left for Florida remember they mm -hmm. they told me I had to get um, a tetanus shot with um, a whooping cough because they put them together now and I'm like why why do I need to get that well your your, your niece is having a baby and you need to do it and I'm like Okay, I guess. And so I get the shot, and my arm swells up this mm -hmm. big. Absolutely. I have a total allergic reaction. They said they don't know. I don't know why. It can't be the medicine. Everything is. I can't be the medicine. It can't be what I gave you a shot for. And I'm like, okay. So then they, I had to go to emergency. Remember, you guys took me to emergency, yeah. and um, then they gave me antibiotics and this allergy medicine. The antibiotics didn't work. I had to come back and tell them, hey, well. I, I, my body only works usually with doxycycline, so they had to give me the stronger one with a resistant. It took a month, right? It did. It's like it took um, a month. I well, let me explain it. what happened. Your body basically, well, the reason that it had that inflammation and it swelled up is because it recognized that it was a foreign, foreign object coming in yeah. in your body, and right. it was a pollutant, and it didn't want it to spread to the rest. So what it does is. This is what our bodies are made for. God created us perfectly. That's why we're not supposed to put anything in our bodies that are false, you know, that are right. chemicals that are fake, mm -hmm. man-made. Those things are not supposed to be ingested mm -hmm. or injected, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So that's what happened. Your body did its job, and it stopped it from going and traveling to your lymph nodes and going other places in your body, and it made it, it made inflammation come out. And it took a while, but your body had to process that. And yeah, it brought it, her body, um, her arm, not only did it swell, but at the same time, um, it was very hot in that area. It was very warm when you touched it, you Absolutely. know. So yeah. I guess it was fighting. It was crazy. It. it was hard, hard, hard. Yeah. And it was hot. And and so, what will you not do anymore? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not doing uh, that Yeah, anymore. I don't take, <laughs> yeah. listen, I don't, I don't know. I've, it's probably been ever since I've, like, gotten really into Seriously about my health, like it's been 10 years since I've been on a vaccine, I've, since I've taken medicine that I didn't need to take. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. even for headaches or minor things like that, like menstrual cycle stuff, like nothing. I don't take anything for that type of stuff. There's ways that you can go around it. You know, and there's been several times, like maybe out of those 10 years, maybe two or three times I've gotten sick. You know, and it was because there was like a virus, a serious virus. And of course, sometimes it's very imperative to take antibiotics. Sometimes, yeah. but yeah. when you supplement with probiotics, you're fine. You know, what is probiotics? I've heard that name before. I don't know what it is. Okay, so probiotics. Okay, think of anti. That means that means no, like like stop, right? That right. means so when you put an antibiotic in your body, mm -hmm. what it does is it goes in and it kills all of the bad bacteria. Right. The probiotics is for meaning good. You know, mm. so your good okay. flora and your good bacteria also is necessary because that is what fights off the future infections. Oh. So the, the only thing about antibiotics is that they do kill the bacteria, but sometimes they kill all the good bacteria too. And what you don't want is no more good guys in your body fighting off the future viruses. Mm -hmm. right. Because, you know, that, and that's the thing, like a lot of people, they'll take these medicines, especially antibiotics, and they don't understand why, they'll get, why they will get sick again. You know, and it's because you did not supplement with probiotics. You're not drinking. You're not eating like the yogurts and, and certain things that prepare your body. So right. tell me, those. where can I find them? I just said yogurts, like real play. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's no. what I eat. I like real play. No, I it's gonna be go. the Greek and the. the. Yeah, well, I would, I would, oh, that creek be chasing. Play. I wouldn't go with real play <laughs> just because. I mean, and this is another part we're about to get into. I'm sure, oh, which boy. is. I like to look at um, the nutrition facts. 
on the back. Mm-hmm. You have to see exactly what is in your food. You have to pay attention. If there's more than 10 ingredients, then I'm sure there are some chemicals that they're throwing up in there. The monotriglycerides and the the uh, soy le- lectin and all this stuff; those things are not man. Those things are, I'm sorry, are not natural products. Those aren't milk and water and sugar and those are things that are chemicals, man-made in a science lab, and right. the scientists are putting it in our food. So you have to be aware of those things. You'll play. I'm sure (laughs) you look on the back, (laughs) you'll see corn syrup or whatever else in there, you know, corn syrup is bad. Corn syrup is absolutely bad. It's from the corn. Right. Which is absolutely bad. Corn. Okay. Think about it. Um, First of all, corn is a genetically modified food Two, um, especially in the U S I'm not sure about other countries, but in the U S they have shown that the, that is one of our like soy and corn. Those are the most, um, genetically modified foods in our country. It's ridiculous. Uh, the one that's growing off the tree oh. and you pull. Yep. Oh. So, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but think about it. it. Corn, what happens when you eat it? We're not going to get disgusting, but <laughs> it, you know, does it, does uh, it disperse? I'm not a big corn fan, well, so I get, um, get what you're I, talking I get what you're saying. Does yeah. it disperse? Our no. body is a very intelligent, like they, it, our bodies know exactly what they're supposed to do. So think about it. It doesn't does, break it down. Doesn't even break it down. So yeah. what do you think that the corn syrup is doing? Wow. Yeah. You know, now sugar, your body can recognize that comes from natural sources like fruit, you know, and dates right. and raisins and stuff like that. Um, maple syrup, all that type of stuff. Those are good sugars for your body. Your body can process that, recognize it, and say, "Oh, I know what this is. Okay, cool." Those artificial sweeteners, like Equal, um, Nutrisweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're those all familiar are with what, those. I don't know. I don't even know the other ones. What do they call it? Sweet and Low. Sweet, Sweet and low. low. Sweet and Low. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now, <laughs> this is one of the things, like I was just talking to you a second ago. I hate these sweeteners because, sorry, a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends, a lot of just people that, you know, I've, I educate just not even, I don't even know some some people sometimes, and they'll just come up to me and ask me, or I'll be out somewhere, and they'll be like, what do you think that is? It's weird. I don't know, yeah. but right. I take that opportunity to just, you know, shoot out all the information that I know, because mm-hmm. I feel like that's why God gave it to me, yeah, and, it did. and why I have a passion for it, you yeah. know? So, um, it's basically called, this chemical that they put in these artificial sweeteners is called aspartame. And Spartame. this, well, they call it aspartame. And that's okay. how you pronounce it, but you can pronounce what it is, like tomato, tomato. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but this chemical is literally a billion dollar industry. Wow. And it is disturbing and disgusting yeah. because it is built to kill us. It is built to wow. do the exact opposite of what it says it does. What do you say, kill us? What do you mean? So, meaning, okay, diabetics people that aren't able to ingest a certain amount of sugar. It raises their insulin levels and, and their glucose spikes up, you know, like all these things, health risks. But they tell them this is what they need to take because they are diabetics. Exactly. Just like they tell us fluoride is good for your teeth. Yeah. And yeah. they tell us use diet. All day long they, they tell, tell you, you that. to use diet stuff when you're losing weight too. Exactly. And that gets to my next point. So in that diet, Coke or that diet Pepsi, or that diet, whatever you're eating that says diet on it, or it says right. light, all those things contain artificial sweeteners. That's why it's zero calories or whatever you, whatever have you. This is why it's because this chemical that they're putting in there keeps the calories down for sure. Okay, no calories, but now you have Alzheimer's, now you have high cholesterol, now you have diabetes, now you have cancer. I'll take some calories over I take before I take those right. diseases right. Yeah, right. that are these. irreversible. So yeah. basically you're putting like foreign um, chemicals in your body. Exactly. You know, and that your body doesn't recognize. Exactly. And and the thing is that what they do, <clears throat> their marketers, they will tell you that it's good for you. They will tell you that, oh, this will make you lose weight. There have been no studies to prove that you lose weight wow. eating these yeah. things. Not yeah. one. Yeah. Actually, I think it has so much chemicals, other chemicals like salt. I noticed when I have tried it, 
my uh, my my body I I, I kind of my body feels funny mm -hmm. and it starts to feel like I retain water and that's it's what like, you pay attention to don't listen to the stuff that's that they why tell yeah, you. I can't eat them you have it. to listen to your body and, yeah. and what it right. says and and so think about this also the spartane what, industry what, but gum too the gum, gum has, has a spartane in it and so and wow. it's, and, and I I've it. stopped chewing gum even and I used to be I use I use extra and all those for, for aspartame so. all that stuff is in there so wow. with that being a billion dollar industry now you can see how so many products contain it one two how it's being marketed that it's good for you so guess what this is a country that's probably what I don't want to say wrong numbers but I I believe it's like. 40% obese or something mm -hmm. like that. Obesity is a serious issue here in the U.S. And it's because of our food. Yeah. True. I believe that. It's because of our food. It's because of the chemicals in it. You go to Japan, you go to Europe, so many things are banned there. They can't even bring into that country. They, you, can't even pro, you can't even take that stuff over there. But we are giving it to yeah. our children, yeah. mm -hmm. giving it to pregnant women, mm -hmm. you're giving it to people on a daily basis in our water supply, in our food supply. That's why our obesity rate is so high. That's why our our death rate is 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 becoming more and more drastic. Like our lifespan is now down to what 65, 70. Well, that's yeah. true because at our age, we're, I'm 51, he's 55, and and it's like, um, you know, we f friends. Are dying at fifty five and sixty and years old. And that should be unheard of. It's like yeah. ridiculous. It should be unheard of. It shouldn't be. Oh, you're getting old. How many burials have you gone? I mean, it's quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, even some friends that have passed away in their forties. It's it's really sad, and it's a you know. situation that you know, especially with my parents and my family, and of course you all and everyone that I know that's close to me. I try to just just spread as much as I know without becoming annoying, you know, <laughs> because it is no, a we, lot. We appreciate, we appreciate you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We appreciate you. <laughs> but it is a lot of information, you yeah. know, and it's never ending. Yeah. Like I still learn it's on a daily so basis. Much. Like um, it was, it was not too long ago that I learned that, that aspartame, that industry, that billion dollar industry, right. it took them eight years. I'm sorry. It took them 23 years. For mm -hmm. the FDA to approve that. Wow. So they were denied eight times. They wow. took it to the FDA. FDA, no, 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 eight times. 23 years later, they approved it. So what do you think is the reason that they kept denying it and they kept, you know, not approving this chemical? It's because it's deadly. It's because it right. is killing us. It's because right. it's causing so many. And the CDC didn't allow it. Right. Other um, agencies, I forget the names, but they did not allow this chemical. Mm -hmm. And then after 20 years mm -hmm. of, you know, them going at it, going at it, forcing this person in office, that taking this person out, finally they got it approved. Guess what? Now it's a billion dollars. Yeah, it's all about I won't the bottom believe, dollar. I, I, I won't it's doubt ridiculous. it. It's ridiculous. My sister, um, my sister had a sister Marva, and she died at forty-two, I think it was. And um, okay. she, she drank diet everything, mm -hmm. diet um, everything was diet for her because she, you know at that time we were convinced the the tofu was good, the, the the diet drinks were good, and everything like that. And I, and she would try to get me to do it, and I tried a couple of times and made my body feel funny. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I I didn't I chose not to do it. But I really think it's it's really are killing people. I it always is. thought about that in the process. Um, she died of melanoma cancer, but I felt like it was it, it had to contribute because when when we found out she was dying. Um, she was supposed to only have six months to live, and we, we got about two and a half years because we would go oh. to Mexico, mm -hmm. get shark cartilage, because shark cartilage is not approved here. We would go all oh, the way no. to, to the places that Anything had good, the natural <laughs> stuff. Yeah, the natural stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, to, to give to her, you know, like even in Trinidad, um, you know, my mom, we used to have fresh chickens. It's not hormone ingested mm -hmm. chickens. All these, th I didn't know anything about you know all these chips and different things mm -hmm. everything was more natural you yeah. know sometimes we go to the store and buy a little can a little candy bar, but not all this excessive candy exactly. not all this stuff so when you come to america and you're like oh my gosh mm -hmm. and then you, you know you get hooked on and it and then also i'm glad you said that it's that chemical that 
not even just aspartame, but so many other chemicals that they have. Oh my gosh, it's an abundance of them. The scientists, they go and they create these things. Mm-hmm. Is, is, so, is it addicting to most it people? It is very it addicting. Is. They yeah, have so shown, studies have shown that it is more addicting than the drug crack cocaine. So wow. the fact that this is in our food, yeah. don't think that that's you wanting the food oh i just can't stop eating these cheese it's or i can't stop eating this yeah you, you crave the, yeah. the chips that the the, the, cr- the feel of it what something about it's the chemical in your brain that is is what you do is you ingest it and it goes to your brain mm-hmm. this chemical tells your brain it's like an alarm going off in your brain saying give me more give me more give me more your hunger um lever that's in your brain that should tell you when you're full Normally, when you're eating whole foods and real foods that God created for on his planet, right. your lever starts to go over here after you eat a while, you know, after you eat enough, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, when you eat these chemicals, that lever is meant to stay here. Oh. It is a chemical that triggers uh, basically neurons in your brain to not move that lever. Oh, wow. So that lever, as opposed to going over and saying you're full, it's saying, give me more, give me more, give me more. more And And it's staying there. It's not going over here. And this is why we're obese. This is why a lot of people don't understand why they can't fight this, why they can't fight that. You know, and it's. That and watching TV, college potato, and it's pushing it in their Come face. Come on. Constantly. People listen. No, I went through that as a teenager when I came here. I go through that, and I'm an, and I'm an advocate for health. I can't. There are certain stations, certain times, like when I'm fasting or when I'm doing a super cleanse, you know, right. and I'm cutting out meat, dairy, everything, sugars, anything. I'm just 21-day fast or 30-day fast, whatever I feel like I, my body needs. Right. I cannot watch TV. Understand. Oh, oh. Oh, Understand, these people the, are paid to to be good at marketing. Yeah, to be good at making you want what they oh just put God. on TV. That's so as true. As soon as you go on a diet, they or you go try to, to do a school fast, for this stuff. They show everything on TV. Yeah, you know, them from Coke the commercials just, become really good, don't they? Yeah. From the music. <laughs> To the yeah. words that they use yes. to describe the food. Oh my yes. gosh. To yes. the yes. picture, to the quality of how it's shot. Everything in that in these commercials are advertised yes. to make the consumer buy. It's not advertised for its health to just be on the TV. It's to make you buy it. So don't think that you're weak. It's just that that is what they are there for. So when you are on those types of situations and you're watching TV, you cannot expect to just, I mean, if you have willpower, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, more power to you. But even me, that has, I have some of the strongest. You do. You know, I like, I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can turn off my taste buds. Oh, yes, I you can. I can turn off. You know, I've seen you drink some things. I'll be like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I can. And, and, and the reason, the reason is because I understand that it's, when it's good for you and it's beneficial for you, mm-hmm. I think of it as, this is this is me depositing good into my body. And I you know, honestly, I tell my clients and my friends, if you think of yourself as like a bank, you think of yourself as like your your account or whatever. If you are obese or you're overweight, mm-hmm. you have to think of yourself as being in debt. You can't think of yourself as, "Oh, I can just eat here and eat this and eat that." No, 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 no. When you're in debt, what do you have to do? You have to constantly deposit 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 money until you're out of debt then then you still need to build and you still need to put more money in there so you won't get back in debt again same thing with your body your body does not become obese overnight it does not get overweight overnight it's over time so when you're losing weight you can't think oh it takes well i haven't seen any results in 30 days i haven't seen that is one month out of how many years it took for you to put this on so you have to uh, remember that you you can't do what everyone else is doing. Forget your friends down there that don't care. They're eating French right. fries and hamburgers and 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 uh, Kit Kats and all that stuff. That stuff is the devil. Think of it as the devil. devil. Think it. Absolutely. Think of it as taking money out of your account. Mm, do you? Do you? Yes. Do robbing you want, of your health. Exactly. Basically. Do you want? Your, do you want to stay in debt or do you want to get out of it? Right. And until you get yourself out of debt. You can't think about that stuff. That stuff is meant to destroy you. It's not like, and then once you once you realize how much better you feel once you're out of it, you're like, I don't even want that stuff anymore. Because yeah. guess what? You <laughs> purge your body from those chemicals. Right. Purge your body from those processed foods. Mm-hmm. So your body is now cleansed. Now all you want is whole foods. 
a, a, a banana, watermelon, cherries, um, strawberries. They taste like candy to you <laughs> because well, it is. Yeah. It's yeah. nature's candy. Yeah. And God, God created it for it to taste amazing. Yeah. But until yeah. you purge and you cleanse your body and you make sure that you remove all of these other things that are telling you, no, 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 come over here and get, get some Twizzlers or get, you know, the, the BS, you know, right. that is, the junk. it's fake, you well, know. Well, tell no, me, I actually, tell me something, Chris. Um, you know, I've talked to some doctors and um, like, you know, they said you want to be careful with juicing and, you know, like a lot of the blended drinks with they the fruit. And they tell me that don't um, blend too much um, using a lot of fruits, they said, because, you know, the fruits carry a lot of sugar. And yes. it's bad for your body, and it can cause, you know, diabetes. Yes. And then, mind you, he doesn't have diabetes. Yes. But so they're telling him not to juice. Lies. So that he you know, is, said, won't you get know, it. They said Lies. All, they said all those smoothies with the fruit in it, you know, be careful, you know. Lies. And now, let me say this. The smoothies that are from, like, Smoothie King or whatever else, Jamba Juice, I'm not sure. No, I, I, well, now, well, those, those yeah. I don't know where their fruit is from. Right. I don't know if it's natural fruit. I don't know if it's non-GMO. I don't know if it's out of a can, you know. So I wouldn't say, yeah, that. I mean, that could be right because when you do too much fruit that is not, you know, in its natural state, it's not, you know, a whole food. I, then, I just find it confusing, you know. No, you that know, makes you, sense because you, you it will you, turn into sugar. Yeah. But say you do your own at your house or, like, you go to Whole Foods or you go to, like, a high-end um like juicery, and normally their juices are 100%, like no additives, no preservatives, nothing. You know, it's all it's all organic or whatever. Right. So, or but let's let's say you're in your kitchen, you put banana, strawberries, mango, pineapple. You can have whatever amount of fruit you want. Your body will process that, and it will never turn into diabetes. It's a lie. That's what they Whoa, want you to think. Is- now wow. it's like why would the doctor tell me you know, you know I, have the, I, have the, doctors told I have the kale in there the doctors you know, the mango, guess they also bananas. tell you to take 10 <sighs> different prescriptions so just because the doctor tells you something wow you can't listen to what they say and that's what a lot of um people are misconstrued about in the u.s is is this health system the fda all these people are in cahoots with each other and the usda they want to keep us sick because when we're sick guess what they make the money money. keeps coming in yeah they make money and the way to keep us us sick is by the food and by what we drink because other than that you know there's really no other way to to get us sick they they can't force injections in our bodies you know but right. we have to eat we have to drink so yeah, this but you've true. told me that the, the the medical system um is not um to heal it's not to to pre- prevent you Mm-mm. it's to what did you say there was a certain said, term you said I, I can't get it i said i said um our system in the u.s is this considered we have a caller excuse oh, me real quick let's yeah. take the call hello caller who is hey, hello Jack. How you doing? All right. All right. You're you're on live. You have a question for? All right. You okay. know, I'm in the 100 percent agreement. I'm doing good. How you doing? Great. Who who are we speaking to? All right. Who are you? Your name? Bill Hicks. Oh, okay, <laughs> Mr. Hicks. <laughs> Hi, All Bill. Right. How you doing, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're you're in. Um, Agreement with uh, what we're saying? Oh, I'm in total agreement with your guest. Uh, you know, um, with my health issues and stuff like that. And I just came from the cardiologist, and he wanted to give me another drug on top of another mm. drug. Yes. Said, you know, I'm wondering if he's just, like she says, want to just bill me and just Absolutely. make money and stuff. Honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you are even, one, going to a cardiologist because a lot of um, health I'm sorry, a lot of heart um, problems that we face today is because, once again, our food, you know, yeah. and that's it. Um, sometimes it's because of nicotine, you know, if you're a smoker. Sometimes it's hereditary, but for the most part, it's our food. It's dairy, it's meat, saturated fats, things like that. But once again, with the power of God, you can cure your body from anything. So all it takes is the proper nutrition and the, the know-how of what to do and what not to do. One, you got to get off all that medicine. Two, you have to yeah. find a holistic doctor that is that is 
certified in alternative medicine so that they can prescribe vitamins and yeah. herbs to put you on that will heal you as opposed to covering it up with prescriptions. And that's what, um, you know, mom was saying just now about um, what they do. They don't, they're not into preventative health. They're into cover up health. Right. So they want to cover up put a and mask the symptoms, Right. not fix the problem. You know, just like okay. some mechanics <laughs> with <laughs> our cars. <laughs> they don't want to fix the problem. They just want to fix the little thing that we're concerned about. And then guess what? You got to go back in six months or you got to go back. Yeah. A lot of, they're not into curing you and fixing you. And that is what you have to be into because it's your body. So you got to do your research. You got to get into it and everything will be healed after that. You have to believe and know that. Like you can cure yourself from cancer, Alzheimer's, yeah. AIDS even lupus whatever wow. have you wow it's yeah, possible i'm in firm agreement with that firm agreement with that. you got a great guest oh, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank, thank you bill. bill we appreciate you calling yeah. in yeah you know. all right guys take care take all care right. yeah, take God no, uh, uh, no thanks Woody. um the the thing about it is i i know it's um for uh, 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 it's, it's a what you say not a preventative system it's a it's more of a cover-up. It's more of a cover-up okay. because right now my sister, my, my whole family is going through a situation where my mother has Alzheimer's. Uh, well, actually, she had dementia, and they've never really said she had Alzheimer's. She's 86 years old. Mm -hmm. And when we gave her over to my brother, she, um, you know, she, she, she had some memory problems and, and everything, things like that. Um, but... You know, a month into it, they took her, to, took her to the doctor that was in that area, that the area of my brother is. They immediately put her on these medicines, that um, antipsychotic medicines. And by, by time, when, when my brother called her two years, he had her for about two years, by when they called my sister, my sister, she was actually on a deathbed. She was unresponsive. Come to find out, my sister took her back to San Diego. We've been working on her. Um, and she's, she's better now. Mm -hmm. But we found out all this medicine was on her. Mm -hmm. And we had to yes. take her off of this mm -hmm. medicine. Yes. And this doctor, it, 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 it's so obscene, the medicines that they have put on her. The psychotic medicines, the sleeping medicines, the, 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 all these different medicines on her that it almost killed her. And she's such a fighter. She's, mm -hmm. she's so spunky and <laughs> she such is. a fighter. Really that, and I thank God for that. Yeah, yes. Those types of stories just seriously hurt my heart because these doctors, and I mean, not all doctors are, you know, like they're not from hell, you know. Right. They're literally doing what they are told to do. Like right. they, they went to school 10 years. They know nothing but the book. <laughs> they're not in, you know, they're no not common in, sense. No, That's they it. have no common That's sense. It. Even even my doctors now that I go to, like I'm in there schooling them on certain things mm -hmm. that they don't know. And I'm like, hold on, I don't even have a degree in this. And, and, you're, and you're not aware of this. Right. Like you don't even know what alkaline water is. Like you don't oh, wow. like it's, it's weird. That's you know? scary. It's very scary that your Tell what people, <laughs> so a lot of people in our age group do not know what alkaline water is. And that's fine is. for the regular person. For, for, for Can common, you explain what that is? Yeah, alkaline water is basically based on pH. So when it comes to water like this or tap water, um, those waters have a pH that are below 7. So when you do alkaline, it's normally 8.5 and above. Mm -hmm. And alkalinity is what your body needs to thrive. It's what it, it's what keeps it from being acidic. When your body is acidic, it, that's when it's going towards death. That's when it's declining. That's when it's deteriorating. Right. So you want to keep your body alkaline. You want to eat alkaline foods like greens and all of your fruits that have alkaline properties to them. So they have created alkaline water using a system and using a certain um, water purification process, thank God, you know, because then we would just be drinking fluoridated water all the time, which is horrible, yeah. you know, yes. and that's what our U.S. is is populating in our systems. Like, we are forced, like, think about it. If, if the doctors, they have to have your permission to prescribe you medicines. Yeah, they do ask. Medicines. Mm -hmm. They do ask. Now, fluoride is a chemical and a medicine. But it is used as rat poison and, you know, like I said before, the um, insecticide. Right. So these things are not something that we are approving for them to put in our water supply. But we are still taking it. Wow. So you have to think of it like that. Like 
if they're forcing us to do stuff, especially stuff that we don't know about right. in our water. Right. What do you think <laughs> that they're going <laughs> to do with stuff that we're allowing them to do mm -hmm. yeah. in our medicines? Yeah. The medicines mm -hmm. are going to decline our health. They're going to make us worse than we were. They're going to. Now, some medicines, I will say this, are prescribed correctly and they yeah. completely help the person. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. but that's probably 20%. So wow. I put lemon in my water, and I, I heard that helps make it alkaline. Because that's an alkaline fruit. Ah, so that's okay. what it is, because I always put lemon in mm -hmm. my water. And Not right good. now, but normally <laughs> I put lemon in all my water, don't I? All as the long time. as you do that, you are canceling out a lot of the properties that are already in there. And the alkalinity of that fruit is stabilizing the water. Mm. So it's better off as opposed to drinking water naked. With nothing. With okay. nothing. So for okay. sure, if whenever you get a chance, add lemon, add lemon, add lemon. As much as you can, honestly. Mm -hmm. Because okay. the more, the better. But um, well, I forgot our point was... But um, the alkaline water is important to alkaline in your body. Exactly. So, um, But my point was, oh, so doctors that don't even know what they're doing, one. So, But the ones that do, they disgust me and it hurts my heart mm -hmm. that your uh, mom was on that. Because yeah. oh, it, oh, it, it was, was terrible. It was so terrible. But the 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 good thing about it is that you were knowledgeable enough to know, get her off this stuff. Oh, we immediately. And she's still alive. Oh yeah. gosh, and, and she's such a fighter. And, I I don't even understand. And 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 even in the midst of all that, that medicine will deteriorate your mind even more. For sure. For sure. And it's and it's meant to do that. It's not meant. You got to think about it. And I'm, you know, sure I'm not supposed to be saying these things, but the U.S. is not in 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 the business of keeping us alive. I'm sorry. No. They are in the business of population control, unfortunately. So, the 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 lower our lifespan is, the more money they can make. The less they have to put people on Social Security, the less, you know, like it's it's not it's not their job to Never keep us alive. That. Yeah. It's not their job. We are overpopulated. We have yeah, too many people, according, you know, to the stats. And so what do they think? Okay, depopulization. How do we do that? Okay, we have to shorten the lifespan. How do we do that? Oh, right. what they eat and drink, we have to make that toxic. So all these toxic chemicals and even our water, that's what they're forcing you know, us. And that makes right. sense because even in the, the poverty, impoverished areas, which is the Hispanic areas, the black areas, you don't see a lot of fresh fruit stands. Never. Uh, everything is, it, I remember one day we were driving down in an um, uh, area, I, I don't know the area of LA, but literally liquor store, fast food, mm -hmm. liquor store, fast food, and we're like, is there any restaurants around here to eat? Uh, or something that we can All actually eat everything bad. And, and the food was so, we stopped, ended up stopping, I think at a Jack in the Box because we were so hungry and we're like, that was the nastiest stuff we've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. we, we almost, we were like, oh gosh. And that's why it's free 99. That's why it's 199. That's, that's, that's why. Because they want those people that aren't able to, to afford the, the healthy food and the whole foods and, and the um, organic pro yeah. produce. Right. They don't want them. You don't see a whole foods no. in a black neighborhood. Because what is they, that? Because, okay, now here's the problem with that. Basically, when you buy organic, and you buy whole foods that are not processed and don't have um, genetically modified organisms in it, those types of foods are now more expensive, almost triple the price as a regular grocery store. What makes them feel that they will not pay for it, for the ones who can? Well, it's not that they won't. I don't think so. I think it's that they're going by, like, the, like they'll put those... those um, Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and all Sprouts and all those in the neighborhoods where they feel that the wealthy are and you know the people that can afford it are because you can't. I mean, if you're if you go to a to a, um, a neighborhood that has poverty, they're not going to spend you know a hundred dollars on one bag of groceries. Mm -hmm. That's how much you'll probably get when you go to Whole Foods and Trader. You, you're not. They're not even going to spend fifty dollars on regular groceries. So why would they spend a hundred on you know one bag? That's true. Yeah. So you have to go there. And then two, unfortunately, they have made this stuff so expensive and so rare that it does cost more. So mm. 
You and, and this is natural foods, the way food should be. Exactly. Which is I don't understand why so they're making it more difficult for the 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 um the small farmers. middle class yeah. and yeah. you know lower class to purchase these healthy items and um and produce and vitamins and all those things because they know yeah. that oh okay th- this 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 um group of people. They can't afford it, so they'll wither away at the end of the day. The wealthy and all this, the, the, they'll know what to do. They'll, they'll care more. They'll, they'll purchase the most expensive hmm. stuff to keep their health yes. together, you know, and it's, really and it's unfortunate. Uh, and we've seen it. Uh, we've seen it, really. And, uh, and it, it hurts our heart because of the, we, we were actually driving around looking for stuff, and we're like, are you kidding yeah. me? There's nothing. That's so true. There's nothing, you know? But even still, um, like like some of my clients, you know, they'll tell me like, you know, Chris, I know you're telling me to eat organic and I know you're telling me all this whole stuff and don't do this and don't do that. But I just, I can't afford it. Da, da, da. So, excuse me, what's the difference of like, you know, fruits and vegetables that are organic than the ones that aren't? What's, what's the difference? Yeah, that's okay. a good question. So organic food is yeah. food that is in its natural state. It is not modified in any way. It okay. is how God made it. So it's gone and it goes in the ground and it sprouts and it blooms what it's supposed to bloom. Is no bloom. insecticides? No. Well, unfortunately in the U.S., <laughs> <laughs> even our, yeah. our organic produce yeah. has pesticides and all those things, herbicides in the soil because that is what they mandated. Like they will not allow farmers to do without it. Right. They even, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of chemtrails. They even spray those from the airplanes Mm -hmm. from years and years ago to where there's, I mean, this stuff is pollutant, Mm -hmm. pollutant after pollutant, just, you know, going on our crops. But anyway, so organic is that it's in its natural state. Now the, the other fruits that are in, and vegetables that are nowadays, those are genetically modified. Okay. So that's why it's called GMO. Mm -hmm. So the genetically modified organisms are man-made chemicals that are there to assist the growth of what once was a natural state. Right. Mm. So <laughs> you got to think of it as steroids. Oh, steroids <laughs> for food. Wow. Well, yeah, you look at people today, they're growing larger than ever. Like, you know, when we were young. Huge. Yeah, when we were young, you know, kids grew to, you know, to a certain height. But now kids are taller. Ridiculous. Bigger. It's you the know, food. It's the food. It's like what? It's in this food that's just making everybody just the whole the whole yeah. Yeah. and especially yeah, chicken you know and then the meats I yeah. our meats are yeah. um, dairy and a lot of oh man get into dairy a lot of people <laughs> that don't even know about the dairy industry you know that's another major industry is is just like the aspartame industry where that's um you know a billion dollar industry based on sugar and, and artificial um, chemicals the the milk and dairy industry. Mm-hmm. is ridiculous I, don't, I forget the the exact amount on that industry but it is disgusting how much they make and the only reason this is what is what boggled my mind the only reason that they use cows milk for us to ingest is because they are the largest animal to ingest the most i'm sorry to produce the most amount of milk wow so guess what if a zebra could produce as much milk as a cow, mm-hmm. we would be drinking zebra milk. Mm-hmm. If a gorilla <laughs> could, <laughs> could produce as much mm-hmm. milk as a cow, mm-hmm. we would be drinking gorilla milk. It's all about money. It's not about our health. It's not about calcium. So is cow Never milk was. is not good? No, it's, it is Does from it, a I heard mother, that it causes mucus in your body. It causes mucus. It causes, oh, wow. it causes obesity. It causes all these problems. O- yeah. Osteoporosis, which is said to, mm. to cure because yes. of the calcium. Yes. Whereas you get calcium and other things way more abundantly than milk, you know, and that you have to think about it too. Like if we're in the wild and there's another mammal, mm-hmm. are we going to go drink that mammal's milk? No, we're going to no. use our own. When we breastfeed our child, <laughs> we're, yeah. they're breastfeeding off of our milk. Right. You know, and it's for a reason. We produce milk. They produce milk for their young. So, now, we're t- the only reason we're ingesting it is because they're like, oh, wait, we can make money off of this. Hmm. And there's so much mass production of this milk that the cows are infected. 
the mm-hmm. cows need mm. hormones, mm-hmm. so they inject yeah. them with hormones. They still get infected. They get bladder infections. They get mucus. They get pus. They get all these things. Wow. This is going into our milk, in our cheese, wow. in our what sour cream. What about almond milk? Almond things. milk is one of my favorite alternatives to milk. Oh, okay. So okay. almond. I do soap. that. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that. That is, is good. That that's, is one of my favorites. It's good. Almond milk, rice milk. Those are fine. Those are really, really good alternatives because, you know, almonds right. is those that's a natural form of a nut. So you can use that. It has protein, it has so many vitamins. Right. And I'm so thankful that these um companies have created themselves to produce natural forms of alternatives, like to where people don't have to drink milk. So before we wrap up, because I, I yes. obviously we're, this was <laughs> such an interesting oh, wow, that segment fast. that <laughs> we, um, we're going to have to bring you back for fitness um, on another time. <laughs> but um, could you wrap it up and let us know what do we eat in a day? I want you to tell us, because I remember you were saying, um, I'm going to come in your fridge and clean everything yeah. out your fridge. And we're going to put everything good back in the fridge. And it was quite funny. But you, you broke down from morning to night. What should we eat? And we have about t- five, um, for about five minutes. It's hard, honestly, to say what we should what, what, what you suggest, because, that, you know. But I'm just going to say this because what a lot of people don't understand is every person, one, is different. Everybody has a different genetic makeup, and two, everyone has a different blood type. Mm, that's true. So true. I'm sorry, three. So um, true. if you, there's this book that I love called Eat Right for Your Type. And oh. that is a very, very, very informative book about the four blood types, A, B, A, B, and O, mm-hmm. that they explain for that blood type the foods you're supposed to eat, the foods you're not supposed to eat, the foods right. that are toxic to your body, the foods that are beneficial. Oh. So it's ha- I'm a negative. Okay, so it's hard for me to to specify on what one person should eat when I don't know their blood type. You know, so like if I know you're an O, which which is what I am, then you're gonna eat high proteins. You're gonna eat red meats. You're gonna eat. Um, not that much fowl, which is chicken and turkey, but some in moderation. But you're going to eat um, lean meats. You're going to eat lots of green leafy vegetables. No carbohydrates. Carbohydrates for O's are toxic. They lead to obesity. They lead to all types of problems. No sweets. So for O's, there are certain things you can eat. Now, when you go to an A, a blood type A, they are natural vegetarians. Have right. you ever met um, a person that you don't understand why they don't really like meat? Have you ever heard those people? Mm, yeah, I've, there are yeah, some, some people. I, I've heard a few. There are some people that, that don't, don't like, like meat, that don't that really like meat. Won't touch it. And I guarantee you, they're most likely a blood type A because they naturally do not. Their meat is toxic to their body. I they like, can. I like meat. Okay. And I'm an A B negative. But A B is different from A from oh, A. Oh, okay. So, um, but that's my point. Um, it's 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 very hard to specify what one should do. I'll buy right. it. As far as, but what I will say is, cut out your processed foods. Cut out your chemical absolutely um, additives like those those artificial sweeteners. Cut that out. Um, try to cut out your dairy as much as possible. Um, um, increase your water intake. Um, because you, I always say to my friends, you can't flush a toilet without water. So don't expect to, to keep your body clean your body. Yeah. without water. You mm-hmm. have to drink not. And I'm not talking about the, the BS water. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no, alkaline that's, water. That's good. Well, not, not, it doesn't have to be alkaline, but not the water that has the sugary stuff in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about Gatorade. Yeah, you. and the zero water, all that stuff. You know, so in, increase your water intake. Stop the processed foods with all the chemicals. Um, more whole foods, fresh vegetables and fruits. Of course, this is not, you know, n- so new news. What's your take on all these, like, uh, Vita waters and stuff, you know? On Gatorade. Gatorade, absolutely not. Propel. Really? I thought it gives you electrolytes. Wow. Didn't yep, know we thought a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, um, really quick on that, those sports drinks, Powerade, Gatorade, all those things, um, they have what you call um, BVO, which is brominated vegetable oil. And mm-hmm. that is used as a flame retardant. Really? Wow. That flame retardant is mm. another chemical that is banned. Ingested in your body. Exactly. But wow. it's also banned hey. in, in Canada and Europe. <laughs> I love Canada. I can't and, believe and, it. In Japan. Wow. So, so if they ban it in these countries, but they're letting us drink it, 
think about that. Wow. You know, and it's in our sodas. Af- and actually, Coke and Pepsi wow. just finally removed it. What about wow. um? What about um? Vital water. Vitamin. Yeah, the vitamin there. water. Vitamin water. I haven't I haven't seen any bad um, chemicals in there. I haven't really looked because uh, what I drink is water and um, you fruit told juice. me yeah. simply lemonade is better than concentrated juice. Yes, because con- she, she broke that down to me one day in the right. grocery store. No, you're not buying that. You don't buy this. <laughs> I was like, oh. so was well, once again, that's you. why it's six dollars. <laughs> so like, you know, Minute Maid, which is from another content. Walmart is two dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, Walmart too. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I will be. In Walmart. Wow. But yeah, many made those other um uh whatever snapples, all those from concentrate. Those those are what chemicals right. that are in a tight chemical form that once diluted is what produces that juice, as opposed to something fresh where they're using real lemons, they're using real apples, they're using real whatever your juice is made of, right. mangoes, pineapples, whatever. And putting that in a juice with water and and maybe you know some other stuff, but mm-hmm. it's still from a natural source as opposed to a concentrate. Okay. So, so yeah. well, we want to thank you very much for coming yes, out. Thank Enjoy you, Chris. This went so fast. So I didn't expect that. I, <laughs> I, I hope uh, you know our viewers out there uh, <laughs> took on all this. Yes. Valuable information that Chris has uh, put yeah. on us tonight. So we have to bring well, you back you. and uh, we'll talk about fitness. Yeah. And um, we thank you for joining the, the recovery switch this week. Yes. And um, thank next, you for tuning in. Th- next week we'll come with um, some more informative information. Thank you for joining us and have a blessed day. Please. God bless. God bless. You're listening to The Recovery Switch, where victory lives with Nicole Elizabeth Squires, only on LA Talk Radio.